Today we're going to be teaching you how to beat man-to-man -man defense in Madden NFL 16. The second step for our five sets for success comes to us from uh, the principle that we need to be able to beat tight man defenses. Those, you know, Seattle Seahawks type coverages where they really kind of blanket uh, the, the uh, offense with their man and their speed at corner, their ability to really you know really make life hard for you uh, in the in a coverage situation with a coverage of man defense and so you know teams like you know in, in the Seattle's not necessarily a great example but like uh, uh, for example like the Jets or, or guys like that but people will do this with Seattle great man covering teams now the the whole principle behind beating man to man coverage is what we want to focus on is we want to focus on using mesh type concepts um, and, and ways to rub our guys off one another get them off of that jam and get them a free release uh, so that they can really beat the man. So what we're going to do a lot of, and just a notification here, we're going to do a lot of crossing patterns, we're going to do a lot of pick plays, a lot of rub plays. That is the concept and the basic formula to beat man-to-man -man defense. And it works every year. And, um, you know, yesterday we talked about how to ba how to build a base play, how to come out, be able to read the defense, be able to decide if you want to go into a compressed set or if you want to stay in a spread set. And that's what we really like to show you here. But today we're going to be based off of that decision. We're going to want to go into a compressed de offensive set to beat man-to-man -man coverage. This New Orleans Saints playbook has this tight offset tight end. Other formations that you may have in your playbook include the shotgun bunch weak, the shotgun tight doubles, um, you know, and, and things like that. Those are the kind of the ideas. Okay, so tight offset tight end. The play we're going to be discussing um, that I really like for beating man-to-man -man defense, specifically man-to-man -man defense, is this play, the Saints halfback wheel, um, or there's several others here, and I'll just give you a couple um, options here. Most of these plays will do a good job at beating man. Uh, but the one play I want to discuss today is the Saints spot shake. Saints spot shake is a really effective play in Madden. It's been effective for years and uh, I really like it. I really like the way that it works. First and foremost we want to note that when they press we want to we want to just kind of snap the play and see who gets pressed. Okay, so we're going to snap the ball here, and you'll see that the tight end doesn't get pressed, but everybody else on the formation does get pressed. Cool part, we notice that this route to Williams beats man, and so we'll definitely keep that on the field. Will routes actually do a pretty decent job this year at beating man-to-man -man coverages. Cole Beasley's route did not beat man, uh, and so we note that. Another thing to note is that Witten's route, again, is uh, something as well. All right, so what we want to do with this play is we want to create crossing patterns that are very difficult to guard. One other thing I want to work with here is moving Cole Beasley, motion him out to the right and see where he stops. You see that he stops here and this is going to be an interesting note. He's almost like a tight end and let's see if he gets pressed. You'll see that Cole Beasley does not get pressed off the line of scrimmage and so that's an interesting thing that we need to note in our notes. Another thing, alright, so, so we've seen that, that Cole Beasley does not get pressed, so what I'm going to, what I'm going to start off with doing is I know that, I know that from time to time, you know, this is something that I just know from experience, is that the zig route does a good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. So here you see we're running on a zig, and you see he'll beat man very easily to that side. Very nice. Another thing to note real quick is wheel routes are kind of finicky, and we need to see if they beat man. So let's try to throw it, just trial. And you see, when we wait for his, when we wait for the defender to turn inside, you're going to see. Let's just show you what happens if we, if he's looking. Here, the defender's looking at McFadden. He's going to be able to cut that off for a nice, uh, you know, user pick more than not, more times than not. But what we note here is, if we wait just a little longer, when he turns his feet in, then we're able to get that wheel pattern out. So a couple of notes off of that, and what we're going to do now is we're going to place. Cole Beasley on a hitch route and motion him across. The interesting note about hitch routes is that if you if he will he will run a little spot route for you, and this is interesting to note because of the Saint Spot Shake route uh, and see the way that it works like that. So it's something, uh, just a couple of interesting notes out of this Snugs formation uh, right off the bat. All right, so uh, under that, what we want to do is we know we want to put Cole Beasley on a on a hitch route, or excuse me, on a zig route. Zig routes are really good when they don't get pressed, and so that's why we're going to put him on that route. The next thing that we notice, we know that Jason Witten doesn't get pressed, and we know that slant routes are really effective to beat man coverage when they don't get pressed. So we're going to place him on a slant. With that in mind, I'm going to present to you the Saint Spot Shake. The first read on the play we know is Terrence Williams. We saw his route do a good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. When it cuts up field, just throw a little bullet pass. No pass lead, just throw a bullet pass, and you see he'll do a good job for you. You're going to read this play left to right. Okay, and so we know now that the next read on the play, the second read, is going to be this quick slant 
to Jason Witten over the middle. And as you see, he does a nice job at beating man. So there's that. Our, set, our, our next read off of that is going to be the Des Bryant route. So look left. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There you see Des Bryant come open over the middle. So there's those progressions. And our next read is going to be Cole Beasley to the flats on the left side. So we left, middle, 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 nothing. Right side of the field, open for business to Cole Beasley. So you see that. And then finally, McFadden on the wheel. So left, middle, nothing, nothing, nothing. McFadden cuts up field. What a play by Bobby Wagner there. Not much you can really do on that. Um, one of the things I've noticed with the wheel routes this year is they are kind of finicky. You need to be very careful in how you throw the wheel patterns. Um, you need to practice those a little bit to make sure that they're going to work for you. But what you'll see here is if you, um, if you wait too long, Cole Beasley's route is actually going to interfere with him. So that's something to note as well. Like I said, this is a primarily a man-beating route. Um, one thing we could do uh, is maybe place Witten on a curl route to make him stretch the zones, and then place Cole Beasley on a slant. So Because we, we noted some issues with the flow of the play, and now our reads are still the same. Cole Beasley's just going to take the place of Witten. Okay? And this is actually going to be a little better for us when we talk about beating zone defenses. Curl routes are really effective for beating zone. And here you see there's Cole Beasley on that slant pattern. We got Williams on that wheel pattern. We know that beats it. Then we're going to look to Bryant over the middle there and see that he does a good job of beating it. And then um, we're going to note that Witten's route on the curl route. What I like to do with curls this year is I love to throw them a little bit before our receiver turns and uh, just a bullet pass. Bullet pass is really essential. Do not pass lead curls. In my opinion, uh, pass leading curls is a, a, is a danger. Uh, you will throw some interceptions if you pass lead curls. I'll be honest with you. So look left, left, middle, right, nothing. And then we can throw this nice little user catch to McFadden down the field on the wheel pattern. So that's how we beat man-to-man -man coverage from the Saints playbook. A couple notes to look for when you're looking for a man beater in Madden 16. You want to look for a play that's going to give you a mesh or a crossing pattern. Another thing that you want to look for is something that's a compressed set so that you can get a couple of free releases. And then finally, the other thing you want to look for uh, is using uh, routes that are going to work well off of one another with natural picks and rubs and things like that that you can do to beat man. Okay? So that's how we beat man-to-man -man defense in Madden 16. And tomorrow we're going to be teaching you a